At the moment, what makes Wendy's most stand out from its competitors is perhaps its sassy social media presence. In fact, the chain is always willing to engage in Twitter battles about pretty much anything, really. Its menu features your typical selection of burgers, chicken sandwiches, and the obligatory salads. But the chain does have two standout items that you won't find anywhere else. Wendy's delicious Frosties and its ever-so-tasty chili. Unfortunately, that chili is one of the last things you should order at Wendy's. At least if food safety and hygiene is important to you. Some disgruntled Wendy's employees have reportedly taken to social media to reveal just how nasty this chili is. Let's dig in. Writing on Reddit, one Wendy's shift manager claimed that the chili meat comes from Wendy's burgers that stayed on the grill too long. That leftover meat is reportedly cut up, bagged, and frozen to go into a batch of chili in the future. As the manager puts it, It won't make you sick or anything, it just doesn't quite sit right with me. Yet another employee confirmed this report in gruesome detail, writing on Reddit, When the burger patties time out of use for a burger, they are frozen to be used as chili meat. Everything else comes dry in a bag, is placed in a pot with the meat and water and cooked until the beans are tender. Usually about four hours. Voila! Watery leftover meat chili. According to Iowa State University, raw or undercooked kidney beans can be highly toxic. Although there haven't been any well-documented reports of people becoming sick from undercooked beans in Wendy's chili, it would probably be better if the beans in Wendy's chili came from cans, no? Well, if we've managed to scare you off of Wendy's chili for good, it's not the end of the world. You can still get the same tasty goodness without running any risk of illness by making it yourself at home. And there's no shortage of copycat recipes online if you ever want to give it a go. Sure, making your own chili is a little time-consuming, but a few hours in the kitchen certainly beats a nasty bout of food poisoning. And how does Wendy's chili stack up health-wise? At first glance, it doesn't seem too bad. Assuming that you order a large chili with the intent of making it a meal, it comes in at a respectable 330 calories and contains only 15 grams of fat, including 6 grams of saturated fat. It also contains 30 grams of carbohydrates. So it's not exactly keto-friendly, but then again, beans are usually considered good carbs. A large Wendy's chili also provides 22 grams of protein, which is none too shabby. It even offers 20% of your daily recommended iron. It's not all good news, though, because we haven't told you about the 1,300 milligrams of sodium. Guidelines from the Department of Health and Human Services recommend consuming no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day, so one large chili puts you more than halfway there. Unless you plan on watching the sodium content and everything else you're eating that day, the excess salt could make you dehydrated and bloated. Overdoing it on the sodium can put you at risk for high blood pressure and heart disease. So is Wendy's chili worth it? It's certainly pretty tasty as far as fast food goes, but it's definitely not the best chili out there. The food website Brand Eating certainly finds the stuff to be rather bland, writing that, The main flavor of Wendy's chili is definitely tomato and not much else, really. While there's also beans, beef, and chopped onions, celery, and green bell peppers, they don't impart as much flavor as you would expect and mostly provide texture. The beef in particular was mealy and almost grainy, which was somewhat off-putting. That's not exactly a glowing recommendation, is it? At the end of the day, it really sounds like we should be getting our chili fix elsewhere. Anywhere else. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.